I'm Ben Stein with Panbo. Here looking at the Epic 460 amp hour communicating battery. This is Epic's latest release, offers uh, Victron Communications among other features. I've uh, just begun my teardown of the battery and found at least one pretty exciting development that is uh, why I made this video. So looking at the battery, we start with the cell pack itself and the positive bus bar coming off the cell pack goes right to a class T fuse built into the battery. First time I've seen really any sort of actual fusing in a battery, but certainly the first time I've seen a, a class T fuse and you may be wondering why that's a big deal. So ABYC's safety standards require a class T fuse be used with uh, a larger battery bank or a battery with the potential to generate more than uh, a certain amount of short circuit current. Almost all lithium iron phosphate batteries uh, are able to generate enough short circuit current that the only appropriate fuse would be a class T fuse. The reason for that is the class T can, has an amp interrupt rating of 20,000 amps. What that means is that even with a load of 20,000 amps, the fuse will blow and it will blow into an open position. Uh, fuses with a smaller AIC or amp interrupt capability rating may weld themselves shut under a greater load. That would obviously be very dangerous because now your overcurrent protection has failed to open and has in fact welded itself closed. So um, typical marine class T fuses are rated at 20,000 amp interrupt capability. This particular fuse is rated at 50,000 amps at 125 volts DC. That is basically the worst case scenario in terms of voltage as well as direct current for amp interrupt capability. So a very impressive fuse. The use of a class T within the battery should also open up some possibilities in terms of how the battery is installed, where additional overcurrent is, is supplied, and what overcurrent is used. So ABYC E11 uh, and E10 requires that Within seven inches of a battery, you have overcurrent protection unless the conductor is sheathed in something like split loom, in which case you can go up to 72 inches, but the requirement is that the fuse be placed as close as practical. Well, now we've got our primary overcurrent protection potentially inside the battery. So our next overcurrent protection doesn't need to meet that 20,000 amp AIC, and so you can use something like what I'm using here. A, uh, this is a 300 amp MRBF. Uh, rated with a 10,000 amp AIC um, wouldn't be enough to be the primary fuse but is a great secondary fuse safely mounted on top of the battery ordinarily the battery would be closed with the case on top and the MRBF right here and now you've got all of your fusing easily accessible safely mounted and meeting all of the various requirements the only thing that I don't see present that I would really like epic to do is note the presence of this fuse. So it's a 500 amp class T, would be great if there was some external marking on the battery, uh, at least a mention of it in the manual that says that it's equipped with a 500 amp fuse. It would give people guidance if their battery is not working about one of the possible reasons that the battery might not be working. I don't know if Epic is gonna wanna support end users opening the battery case to replace it, although they have with uh, Allen head screws and easily accessed uh, fuse location, made it pretty easy for the end user to go ahead and do that if, if Epic decides that's how they wanna go. Um, one challenge would be I don't know where to source uh, a fuse like this. This is, as I said, a, a 50,000 amp interrupt capability. The vast majority of the fuses we see in the marine marketplace are 20,000. I did find one source on AliExpress, but looks like availability is a little bit limited on these. Um, otherwise, I'll talk more uh, in a later article and some later videos about the overall construction, but suffice it to say, uh, uh, this battery shows an incredible amount of thought went into the design and follows Epic's previous pattern of really high quality, well-developed batteries.